Helium 10 product research tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be talking about a product research and how you're going to be doing product research as a beginner using Helium 10. So I'm going to go through all the tools that you can use with Helium 10 to do product research. And that way you can go ahead and get this product started to understand what you're looking at and how to leverage a product research software to sort through millions and millions of products on Amazon. Because if you just do this without a software, you're putting yourself as a, at a disadvantage from the fact that you just cannot you know, physically sort through all those products on your own. So I'm digging to, you know, great depths to show you exactly what these tools are and how you can get started on this whole journey of Amazon FBA. Okay. So to actually start your journey with this, we are going to come to Helium 10 and to sign up for a free account, please do check out the link in the description below, which will take you to a free account sign up. And, uh, you know, you can create your account simply from there. So please do make sure to check the link down in the description below to get straight into the free signup. So the free signup is going to look somewhat like this. Okay, you're simply going to click on sign up for free and it's going to take you into the sign up section. So as it takes you into the sign up section, what we're going to do over there is you're going to go into the onboarding where it's going to ask you your thing. So welcome. How would you identify yourself? So, you know, you could go with the things that actually identify you. Now, I have already signed in with an account, but I haven't gone through the whole onboarding. So how would you identify yourself, you know, to start your Helium 10 journey? So you could go with I currently sell on Amazon. I sell on my brand's website. I work with multiple brands. So go with whatever you are. I'm just going to go with the basics right now. And once we do that here, it asks us to upgrade the plans. I'm going to go with not right now. I don't really want to go ahead and upgrade right now away. So we're going to do all that. And once we do that, what is going to happen over here is we're going to hop straight into our dashboard. OK, so our Helium 10 dashboard is pretty basic and pretty easy to get along. So once we hop into our screen here, you can see we're on Helium 10. So if you don't know Helium 10, it is a product research software. There's Jungle Scout, Wild Launch. Helium 10 is the only one that you know, I actually use and it's pretty incredible in my opinion. And again, there will be a link down in the description below, which will get you a free trial and, and a discount as well. So that way you can save some money and time while you first start this process for yourself. So obviously to get into your Amazon product search, you can see that there's a lot of insights and a lot of things going on here. And you will need to get a lot of basics when it comes to your product search. So there's, you know, black box searching, Cerebro, Frankenstein searching. There's different types of searchings. So for now, I'm also going to be opening Amazon into my uh, new tab over here just so we can, you know, save some time. Now, once you're here in Helium 10, some few things that I want you to get out of the way is, first of all, adding the Chrome extension because your Chrome extension basically helps you with a product research because you're simply going to take the Chrome extension to your Amazon and once you go to your Amazon basically over there what's going to happen is that you're going to use the actual extension that you have and use that extension to actually gain out the products over here. So we're just going to add the extension to our Google and once you add it to your Google Chrome it's going to be downloaded in a second so just go ahead and do that and Helium 10 is going to add itself. So once we've added it you're, it's going to let you know that, hey, everything is good to go, et cetera, et cetera. It might even ask you to log in with your account and stuff. So in the case it asks you to do that, please do make sure to do that. Uh, but yeah, once you do all of this, it asks you to make your first search. I'm just going to back out from this here and we're going to go back to Helium 10. Now, once you're Helium 10, first of all, we're going to go to tools and in the tools section, you can see all these things. OK, now what we want to do is we want to do product research, right? So for that, we're going to go to black box, OK, which is your Amazon product research, essentially. So over here, it's going to open the whole black box up where you can use a lot of filters to filter different products out. So here, you know, let's say we want to answer these questions to find a product. So I want to sell a product in the first of all, you're going to choose the store. So first of all, there's the Amazon.com store, which is your U.S. store. Then there's different Amazons that you have. Uh, let's say I'm going to go with the basic dot com, the US store, and uh, it asks you the category you want to sell in as well. So let's say I want to go with the computer and electronic or you know what? Better yet, the more in niche category nowadays would be clothing. So just go with the clothing category and preferably I'm going to go with men's clothing. So once we do this, that needs 
you know, a little improvement, some improvement, a lot of improvement. I'm going to go with a little improvement where competition is. Let's go with the medium. OK, I want to sell my product for obviously it's clothing. So 30 to 100 would be a decent range with a monthly revenue of let's go with the, let's keep it pretty short right now. Now, this is simple. We can also switch to advanced, by the way. But uh, again, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Uh, because first of all, I'm going to do a simple search and then I'm going to take you to an advanced search. And when you go to an advanced search, you're going to see the amount of difference that you're going to get. So we're going to click on search to find the products regarding our questions. And uh, once we do that, look at that, it starts finding products. Okay. So this is basically the product research that it does. Okay. It gives you all the necessary products that you want to find with the, you know, proper necessary sales and all. So over here. You can see, let's say source one ORG three clear eclectic jewelry user showcase. And obviously these are clothings and you can see the number of insights on them, the category BSR. Okay. Which is your bestseller range. So their bestseller range is around the 1.8 million product. And you can also see their prices and you can see the monthly revenue that they generate for you. So let's say these soccer goalie pants are going to generate you $119 revenue, which is pretty incredible. Then also go with the reviews. OK, don't always go with like the higher money or something like that. Go with something with good reviews as well. So as we can see, this bandana has good reviews and pretty decent money as well. So always cross check these things. And once you like a product, like let's say I like this bandana over here. I like these goalie pants over here and uh, let's go with something else. Let's go with one more thing. I'm going to go with, let's go with this, uh, you know, women's open toe cutout mid heel shoe. So once you've chosen your products, what you can do from here is you can actually export these products for yourself if you want to. So exporting these products will basically take it to a CSV file where you can actually then add these products into some type of product store in bulk if you want to, you know, if you're actually selling these products in a bulk store. So that's one way to find products, the product research. Then obviously moving on, you can also let me just uh, switch it from keywords to products back again. By the way, there's also keywords that you can use and keywords is also a pretty great way to get your products through. Because, you know, a lot of people nowadays are running on keywords. A lot of people recommend running on keywords because, you know, the SEO and keyword working nowadays is pretty high. And a lot of people, let's say, want to search a book for children. So all you're going to need to write is child book. And that's your keyword, child and book. So what that will do is it will give you all the searches related to the keyword child book. So let's say. We're going to keep it on keyword search volume. You can keep this uh, to whatever you want. Let's say I'm going to go with a minimum search volume of 100. OK, the max is undefined monthly revenue. I'm going to go with 150 max could be anything price at least $10. OK, review count to review rating. You could choose to this to be whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it blank. And now we're going to come over here. Let's go into computer and accessories keyword search. I'm going to go with razor. OK, so any product of razor, I want it and uh, keep out mouse. OK, I don't want a razor mouse. I want anything other than a razor mouse. Then, you know, you have shipping size here where you can choose these shippings. I'm going to ignore that or, you know, I'm just going to go with all selected number of sellers. You know, all these things are things that you can choose for yourself. I'm going to just keep this in. And I'm going to click on search and let's see if it finds different products for us. And as we go down, look at this. It actually gives us all these different keywords that would obviously take our ratings quite high. So you can see this phrase over here, AMD razor category for computer and accessories. Fulfillment is FBM size here, small oversize variation count is seven. And it's been used for 10 months only. And the monthly sales off of this keyword is 40. And the price made for these sales are this much. And these are the search volumes for these things. So, you know, go with cross check the bestseller range, cross check the monthly revenue, cross check the search volume. And if those things correlate with each other and work well, then trust me, you are winning in this. Like, trust me, this will work like a piece of cake for you. So that's the other way that you can actually get high revenue on Amazon is to, you know, search actual keywords. So 
coming back to product research, let's switch over to advanced to actually research our products. And uh, you can add more advanced categories in your product search. So let's say, first of all, I'm going to switch my store to Amazon Canada. Okay. That switches your store and gives it, uh, you know, a different uh, thing. So use a filter pre-search. So you can go with these filtered presets as well. But uh, obviously, I'm just going to ignore those. And uh, we're going to come over here into our category and subcategory. And again, as I told you, these features are immaculate when it comes to your Amazon's product research. And uh, if you want to use Helium 10's product research features, please do make sure to check down the link in the description below because that link will redirect you to absolute glory and you will not regret clicking on the link, okay? Because it will give you a free trial that you can use for yourself and also discounted codes. So yeah, please do make sure to check it out. But yeah, as we come over here, let's go add a category. So let's say I want some certain type of musical instrument let's go with that and once you go with a musical instrument uh you can add some number of sellers again you can keep these things uh shitted out for yourself if you want to so music girl i'm gonna go with 200 dollars minimum let's search for a uh, guitar okay and um let's say i'm gonna keep the price on 200 dollars. then there's your monthly revenue sales charges and all these things that you're gonna fill out for yourself and then you can actually exclude brands so let's say I don't want a guitar from Gibson or, you know, you know, let's keep Gibson out. Let's say I don't want a guitar from Squire. So you're going to keep a Squire guitar out. And uh, once you keep a Squire guitar out, what you're going to do from there is you're going to search for it. So once you search up for your musical instruments, it's going to give you all the different uh, instruments that you have, you know, so let's say we have a drive case, Pioneer, Samson Medium, portable mic, you get the Yamaha mics and all. So let's say I'm going to edit filters. You're going to give it the keyword of guitar. Okay. So you're going to find the keyword section. And uh, there we go. Title keywords. Just uh, add in guitar over here. And uh, exclude title keywords. Acoustic. So that will basically not give us acoustic guitars, but other type of guitars. So I'm just going to do exactly that. Click on apply filters. And then it goes ahead and searches. So there we go. It starts searching the acoustic guitars for us so you know you get the, the maple cap guitar you have an sg style electric guitar diy guitar and you can actually see their prices you can start seeing their monthly sales their reviews how many people buy them their companies their sellers their brands their last year sales weight so you get the full insight of these products so you know it's a pretty good general outlook of how these things work and then in the tools section, you also have a list where you can save your products if you want to. But obviously, I'm just going to keep it on product research right now. Now, moving on, obviously, that's how you're going to do it from the actual Helium 10 dashboard. That's how you're going to search products and, uh, you know, export their data into a CSV if you want to check these products, cross reference them, track their competitors, analyze their keywords, run a listing analyzer on them if you want to. I still haven't showed you how to use the extension, have I? So let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, when it comes to actually using your extension, basically to use your extension, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to any product page. So let's say I'm going to go with gaming accessories, something that, uh, you know, I want to do product research on. And once you go into gaming accessories, you're going to get all these headsets. So you could steal series Arctic Nova gaming headsets. So let's say you want to actually check these things out. And for this, I'm going to go over here click on this extension I'm gonna disable that and once you do that it brings you this so learn how to use you can add a seller account by connecting to Amazon if you want to but then there's different things like ASI and grabbers where you can x-ray Amazon product researches you can x-ray keywords and a whole lot more so let's say I'm gonna go on product research because that is what we're mainly here about and look at that so the page that we searched it started giving us all the products over here in this page and it gives you a whole research of them as well. So let's say you have this product over here with all these sales and then you can also get these insights. Now, the reason for this to be locked is obviously you're going to need to upgrade it to the main account, but you can start seeing all these things. You can also see their ASI and code in case you want reference to those. Uh, you get headphones with Razer. You even see the brands at Turtle Beat, Steel Seal Series. HyperX, Corsair, Audio Technica, you know, whatever you want. It's all available over here. So you get the basic idea 
of how we're going to use this. And uh, you can also x-ray different keywords for yourself. So all the keywords that are used over here, you can use these to correlate with, you know, your own style of working if you want to. You can also see the total revenue, average revenue, average pricing, average bestseller rank, and average reviews that the page gets. You know, all those can be seen over here. So you can see in the keyword section, let's say we have Xbox Series S over here. And the Cerebro IQ score is 11,577. Your Cerebro IQ score is based on your ratio of estimated search volumes versus number of competing products. Okay, then there's different search volumes over here. You have search volume trends and a whole lot more. So basically pretty easy things to get your head around. And again, as I said, if you go with the actual product research, you get your total revenue off of these things. You get the average revenue, the average price, and a whole lot more. And obviously, to get all those insights, you will need to upgrade to Platinum. So do go ahead and do that if you want that. So, yeah, you get the general idea of it. And uh, this is basically your Helium 10 and uh, how simple it actually is to use these products with each other. Okay. And uh, as I said, you can also find suppliers on other places like Alibaba. AliExpress, you can download a whole CSV report about these products as well, which will help you, you know, actually import these products to some other place pretty easily. And then moving on, you also get a prompt up here. Like once you search something up, you get a prompt up here, which will give you, you know, a small summary of the page. So let's say I'm going to search over here. Let's just search up Christmas because right now the Christmas sales must be booming. So Let's go ahead and search up Christmas. And as you go in the search bar, look at that. Helium 10 also gives you the search bar to search with for your product researches. And you can see that the Amazon suggestions are here and you can see the actual search volume. So look at the search volume from Christmas decorations. You get 993,000 searches, which is crazy. So almost a million searches for Christmas decorations. So once you go over to Christmas decorations, let's say I'm going to go to this product. OK, and once we come to this product, you can uh, actually access your Helium 10 and uh, start seeing insight about this product over here. OK, and uh, once you start getting insight, it's uh, as you can see, it starts loading up. It starts telling you about this product, you know what this product actually constitutes, what it's about. It tells you it's ASIN and everything. And these things are pretty, uh, you could say, easy to get your head around. And you can see that it's an overall pick for your Christmas. And obviously because Christmas is around the corner and, you know, it's more in niche nowadays. So this product might be booming. So you can use this for your product research or for your affiliation, you know, for whatever purpose you're doing Helium 10 on it for. So, yeah, but that's the basic idea of how Helium 10 is used. And uh, if I were to give you a short recap, just create an account on Helium 10. And all you're going to do is you're going to come over to your tools and you're going to click on black box and that will take you to Helium 10's Amazon product research. OK, and then you can just research away from here. OK, you do. Uh, let me do tell you this. You get five free searches on the free trial. OK, if you want uh, searches more above that, you will need to upgrade your plan. But yeah, that's the general idea of all of it. That's how we're going to use this incredible platform for ourselves. Now, again, if you want to use this product research platform called Helium 10 for yourself, please do make sure to check out the link in the description below to get a whole, uh, you know, scenario of how this thing works. You can get a free trial using the link in the description below, and uh, you can also get discounted codes off of it. So please do make sure to check it out. But yeah, that's the general idea of it. So if you enjoyed watching it till the end, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more videos just like this for you. So yeah, that's the general idea of it. And that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.